Hello, the void I am speaking to, that is the internet. I am starting a new series on game theory. And for the first video on the series, I would like to talk about zero versus non-zero sum games. Just a simple explanation, won't be that complicated, I promise. First of all, zero sum game. Zero sum games are games where for one person to win, another one has to lose. There is no other way around it. Typical sports that we consider as games are mostly zero sum games. But game theory does not talk about baseball or football. Alright, now non zero sum games. From the previous explanation, the logical conclusion would be that for you to win in a non-zero-sum game, someone does not have to lose. And that is exactly what a non-zero-sum game is. Alright, I can relate it with an easy example about marketing. Imagine there are two different companies, company A and company B, that are competing in the same industry. Both of the companies are selling almost similar products. Now, company A decides that they are going to increase their marketing efforts. They will do that to gain new customers. There are a lot of ways one can gain a new customer. If company A tries to convert the customers of company B, they are playing in a zero-sum game. My gain, your loss. But if they try and get new customers that were not buying from any of them, that would be a non-zero-sum game for company A. Win for one does not mean loss for the other. Now, an introduction to a classic example of zero-sum game in game theory. A game of matching pennies. You and another player has a penny. A penny has two sides, heads or tails. Both of you are going to show your side at the same time. You are either going to choose head or you are going to choose tail. The rules are, if you choose the same as your opponent, you are going to get the penny. But if yours and your opponent's sides are different, then you are going to lose the penny and your opponent is going to get that. These are all the outcomes of the game of matching penny. You are going to play with someone. If both of you get heads, you are going to win the money and your opponent is going to lose it. If you have heads and the other person has tails, you will lose it, that guy will get it. If you have tails, the other person has head, you are going to lose again and the other person will win. But if both of you have tails, you will win and the other one will lose. There is no win-win situation over here and this is a perfect example for zero-sum game. For one person to win, the other has to lose has to that was it that was it for zero sum versus non zero sum games there are other examples of non zero sum games like the matching penny example i'm going to make separate videos for them because they are much larger topics later i will be making them later i hope that was enough for you did you need more I don't know, you need to comment below if you needed more or if you have any questions regarding this video. But wait, there's bonus content left. And before bonus, I have to remind you that you can support my efforts directly on Patreon. If you don't want to literally give me your money but still want to support my efforts, like, subscription, comments and shares are also helpful. Now it's time for bonus. For bonus, I'd like to talk about one single person, that is Zachary Taylor. He was born in November 24, 1784 and he died in July 9, 1850.
He served as the President of United States from March 4, 1849 to the day of his death. This is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still watching, I know this was not as long as my other ones. I do like stretching out my videos to 10 or 12 minutes, but I don't have to all the time. And lastly, I hope you learned something new today. Goodbye for now.